Ladies, I am going to dedicate a whole video just discussing what type of color you should buy for your coat. For those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Anna and I run an online finishing school called School of Affluence. I teach women about high society, how they can become successful there and become more elegant. If you want to start this transformation, make sure you visit schoolofaffluence.com. So this is part two of my three part series, Elegant Coat Special. Now in my previous video, we spoke about what style and what fit you should choose. In this video, we are going to talk about only about the colors. Why? Because there is so many different colors to pick from, but I'm really going to narrow it down for you which ones are the best and how to prioritize what colors to buy. If we're really going to boil down what's the most important color to buy in a coat, then it's very obvious that the first you should absolutely start with is the black coat. And it's like the little black dress, the black pumps, the black purse. It works with everything and it's a staple piece and it's a must have piece in your wardrobe. It goes with everything. It's so versatile. You're going to have many usages from it. You can wear it over and over again. And most likely it's never really going to expire on you because in the contrary to other type of colors that can easily expire. And when I say expire, I mean perhaps they get ruined because it's a white coat and then there's a stain that doesn't go away. So, okay, that coat has expired. There is no such thing as an expired black high quality coat. These things, ladies, they last forever. They can even go past generations. So I think also black coat is definitely a must if you want to wear something chic at night. In the previous episode, I spoke about what type of coat are you going to buy depending on occasion. Most of the times, if you are somebody who does sometimes go out in the evening, which most of us do, whether it is for dinner or out partying or clubbing or networking events, whatever it is, we need a different coat for evening comparison we need for daytime because the evening coat has to be a little bit more formal and a little bit more stylish and sleek. And that's when the black coat comes in because that's a perfect evening coat. You can of course wear other colors as evening coats. I'm not saying you cannot. I wear other colors at night, so it's that works absolutely fine. But what I'm trying to say is as a beginner, as your first purchase, buy a black coat. You can wear it at daytime, you can wear it at night, you can wear it with a dress, with a gown. As long as it looks polished, it will work. Now enough about the black and boring coat. Now, okay, I'm just teasing you. Black is not boring. I personally love the color black. But let's talk about something that has a little bit more color because now once you have invested in your black coat, it's time to spice things up a little bit. But we're not going to go colorful just yet unless it's your personal style. So please do go colorful then. But I want you to invest in a light colored coat and you have a little bit of different options here now. And I'm going to present the light colored coats that I think are a must for most women to buy. We have the traditional and classic camel coat. Now camel coat has been, I've been talking about camel coat since I started blogging in 2012 and it's something I will probably forever be talking about. So be prepared. It is a must have piece. You can have it in different variations. You can wear it at daytime. You can also wear it at night. And you can just simply use it with many different colors. You can, you don't have to necessarily wear it with something in camel. You can wear it with black. You can wear it with other colors, with white. Anything really goes with camel, believe it or not. Now, the other light color is, of course, white. White color is a staple piece, as much as black and camel is. It's one of those colors that really does elevate our whole appearance. I would say it's a great color to wear if you wanna look a little bit more dressed up, maybe a little bit more formal. You can definitely wear it both day and night. I love wearing my white coat, for instance, for a casual daytime occasion when I'm wearing my white sneakers, my white trousers, but because I'm wearing casual sneakers with casual trousers and I'm wearing a white coat, my outfit doesn't look casual and dressed down. On the contrary, I look quite dressed up even though I wear sneakers. And that's the kind of little hack with white coats, with the color white in general. It just elevates your look to the point where you really, 
you really don't have to do much basically <laughs> you just wear it and you're good to go now ladies I am talking about colors and colors are so important you have to download my free cheat sheet classy cheat sheet it's a cheat sheet that guides you on how to look expensive regardless on budget and there I'm sharing with you my best tips and my best tricks on the key essential elements that can take your outfit from plain to expensive in no time so visit classycheatsheet.com and download your free cheat sheet today so as we're speaking about the light colors Depending on your style, I also want to introduce the field of more earthy colors or gray. Now, when it comes to earthy colors, you have to kind of have clothes that go in that kind of monochrome earthy tone or have clothes that are a little bit more in cashmere or wool type of materials for this to really be pulled off well because we want you to look like a loro piana outfit. We don't want you to look like you live in a forest type of thing. We want you to look elegant, like countryside chic. This really has to be executed well, and I usually do not teach beginners this, but if you are somebody who have a little bit more flavor for fashion and you know how to appropriately combine colors, then definitely explore the avenue of earthy tones of gray and mix and match and, and make sure you match them well with the rest of your outfit. So now it's time to add a little bit of color. There is a reason why I don't really push color so much, especially my beginner students, is because it's very hard as a beginner to properly color match and to pick colors that look expensive. Because there are colors that look cheap and there are colors that look expensive, but I do speak more about that in my cheat sheet, how to look expensive that you can download for free at classycheatsheet.com and I actually even have a master class on this. If you visit classycheatsheet.com, there will be more information if you just follow the instructions. The color that I really would advise even beginners to actually get is dusty pink or pale pink. Something that is not too strong because when we're talking strong colors, that's when it's starting to get a little bit more complicated. But dusty pink and pale pink, uh, pastel pink, very good color because you are still kind of in the monochrome tone where it's easy to mix and match and look expensive, but you're adding a little bit of flavor to the whole outfit. For me personally, I think as a blonde girl, it definitely suits me, but I think actually pale pink suits on everybody but if you are ready to explore color on a deeper level then you should definitely go for the bold colors classic one is of course red red is a staple piece I do recommend getting something red in your wardrobe because that does attract male attention since it symbolizes passion subconsciously you should also think about having a color that, like I said, go well with your skin tone and hair color that kind of pops because oftentimes, let's say in fall and winter, we tend to wear clothes that are very dark. I love wearing all black during the season to avoid being a bit too much in the darkness. It's nice to add a bit of splash of color, something that just really dramatizes the whole look. Having a whole black outfit and wearing like this gorgeous colorful coat is really going to lift your whole appearance. It can be a very strong bold color. Here you can really go all in as long as you keep the background plain and simple. If you are advanced when it comes to fashion styling, then you can add other colors to it. But if you are not that advanced, just add one color and stick to it and the rest can be kept black and then you're good to go. If you still haven't watched part one of the Elegant Coat series, then I do recommend you watching it because that's where I uncover the fundamentals of this whole principle of how to choose the right coat for you. So make sure you click on that video and I will see you there.